Hi friends, my name is Dr. Megan Robertson at Bridge Rides Physical Therapy and today we're going to do a six minute squat workout. Have fun! We're going to start with a warm up for the calves. So you're going to come up onto your heels and then lower down. So there's two main muscles in the calf, the gastroc and the soleus muscles. So first we're going to start with the straight knees and just coming straight up. This is focusing on the gastroc muscle. And after 10 of those, bend your knees and then keep coming up onto your toes. So this is focusing more on the soleus muscle. Lift as high as you can. If you have balance issues, please do this near a wall or something to support yourself. And we'll move on to some body weight squats. So for these, I want you to lower as low as you can comfortably. Um, but as far as your foot place placement, Choose, do whatever feels comfortable at first, and then if you feel like you need to make an adjustment, feel free to do that. You might want to widen your feet. You might want to turn your feet out to the side. Whatever feels comfortable for these. Next, we'll do a side stretch. You're going to reach one arm overhead and then bend through the knee on that same side. And then take 10 deep breaths into that side. See if you can use your breath to stretch further. And as you do this, try not to crowd your neck. Lower both shoulders down your back. Couple more deep breaths. And then to come out of it, bend both knees and come up. And then we'll go right over to the other side. So reach the other arm overhead and bend the knee on that side slightly to deepen the stretch. And then take 10 deep breaths, breathing into the side ribs. Relax your shoulders down your back. And bend both knees and bring both arms bound down by your sides. Next, we're setting up for some sumo squats. So for these ones, you widen your stance and you allow your feet to come a little bit out to the side and then bend knees deeply, as deeply as is comfortable. All of these should be done within a range of motion that doesn't cause you any discomfort. On the way up, especially with all of your squats, think about consciously squeezing your glute muscles. Now stay in the deep squat with your knees out to the side like that and then stretch over just like we did when we were in standing to so stretch to the side. You can place the opposite arm on your knee if that's comfortable. And then over to the other side. Deep breaths into the ribs on the side that you're reaching across on. And then stay down in the deep squat and from here, lift your heels up. This always makes my legs shake. We're only gonna do five. And then when you're done with those, come back up. Next, we'll do some curtsy squats. So for these, you're gonna place one of your legs behind you and across to the other side and then bend both knees. So for these, still try to keep the knee tracking over the second toe, but the point of these is to get your quads to work in kind of different directions, different angles than they might be used to, so it's a little more functional. So when you're doing these, you can kind of think of like all the different weird positions that your knees need to move in when you're hiking or when you're walking upstairs but like turning to look behind you different things like that we'll do 10 on both sides and tanner and i both i think lose our balance a little bit during this good after those your legs might be quite tired if you need to break you can um, but we're going to move on to some modified pistol squats so pistol squat is a single leg squat um, and in the perfect version, you get the one knee bent all the way down to 90. Uh, I can't do that. 
Um, so you'll see in the video, I just come partway down. Or you can do what you can see Tanner is doing, where he has one toe on a little kickstand and he's coming all the way down to 90. Do what feels right. We'll do 10 on each side. And on this side, I demonstrate both the leg out in front version and you can see a little kickstand version here. Your legs might be burning now. This is the last exercise. If you're just warming up, feel free to do this video several times to get a really good workout. Thanks for joining us today.